tracking the skies closely tonight as the threat of strong storms loomed earlier on. A Nequan tornado chaser recently returned from an experience that could have come straight out of a scene from the movie Twister, and she caught it all on tape. CBS 58's Kelly Joyce has more. Small tornado, strong rotation with this, though. Kelly Belter just got back from a trip that sent her swirling. She watches a video of the two-week expedition with her daughter, Danielle. Her trip of a lifetime was with a group of storm chasers from around the world. Her mission on this trip to Tornado Alley was to capture a live tornado on tape. She succeeded. Now, there's Jim Lyon, there's tornado on the ground right now. Tornado on the ground. There was a tornado outbreak in Tulsa, and we were within 300 yards of an F1, and that was pretty intense. This F1 took down trees and homes. Equipped and packed into several Jeeps, it took the group seven days and 97 counties later before they drove into this. Oh, my God! A Dereco traveling 110 miles an hour. It's a straight line wind with the strength of a tornado. Belter and most of her cohorts from Swift or Severe Weather Intercept field team have never been this close. It flies by really quick. Um, it's an out-of-body experience, I think. It's, it's remarkable. Belter has always had a love for storms, but after this experience, she says she's hooked. At first, Danielle, Kelly's 14-year-old daughter, didn't think much of her mother's unusual hobby, but now even she's hyped. I think she's really lucky to be able to experience that, so I wanted to go with her, but it was a little late, so I plan on going with her next year. While it can be a dangerous endeavor, Belter says her passion for chasing storms is more than just a pastime. She says her efforts help make warning systems more efficient. She hands over her video for research. So a lot of people don't realize that it's not the the Dopplers um, that verify tornadoes is the spotters in the field that verify the tornadoes that touch down. If you'd like to know more about the SWIFT team, you can log on to www.theswift.com. The group is based out of Oklahoma, but members join from all around the world. The cost for a two-week expedition will run you between two and $3,000. Elter tells me she does some of her own storm chasing here in Wisconsin, but nothing compares to her experiences last month. Chantel? Kelly, very interesting.